Hi, this is Dan Griffin at Hoopla Digital. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to browse, search, borrow, and play content on your iOS device. If you haven't already done so, go to the App Store and search Hoopla. There you can install the Hoopla Digital mobile app. Now once you're registered for an account at Hoopla, you're ready to start browsing and borrowing content. If you aren't registered, you can sign up for a new account either on the web or through the mobile app. If you need help getting registered, click the button on the screen now to go to the registration tutorial. Now when you install the app for the first time, you'll need to log in with the username and password that you selected. And once you've done this, the app should remember you, so you won't need to re-authenticate very often. With the Hoopla mobile app, you can do several things. You can browse for content. You can search for specific content. You can add something to your favorites list, meaning you want to save it to watch later. And then, of course, you can actually borrow the content and then play or read it. Let's take a quick tour. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, right now we're on My Hoopla. I want to draw your attention to the top of the screen where it tells you how many borrows you have remaining this month. Your total allowed borrows is set by your library. In my case, I have five remaining. Your borrows reset at the beginning of each new calendar month. So if your library does 10 per month like mine does, then you'll get 10 more on the first day of the next month. Let's start by browsing. At the bottom you'll see that I can choose video, music, and books. Video includes both movies and TV. Music contains over 300,000 full albums, and books is for ebooks, audiobooks, and comic books. One of my favorite things to do on the mobile app is to listen to audiobooks in my car. So let's go to audiobooks and see what we can find. So first we'll click on books, and then at the top we'll specify that right now we want to see audiobooks. Now we can browse by recommended featured or popular. Let's see what books are currently popular. Hidden Figures is popular, A Man Called Ove. Here's one that I've been meaning to listen to. Let's take a look at Yes Please by Amy Poehler. Here it tells you about the book and you can borrow it directly from this screen. If you don't want to borrow it right now, you can always save it for later by clicking on the heart next to borrow. Now while we're on this page, let's see if Hoopla will recommend similar content. Oh, it's recommending Rob Lowe. Let's see what we have with him. Nice. So Hoopla has his autobiography in an audiobook form as well. Let's save that one for later, too. Now let's look at music. You can browse here, just like we did in audiobooks, but this time let's try a search. I'm going to search for Blake Shelton. And when I've typed in Blake and a few letters of his last name, I can then find him in the search recommendations. It looks like there's a ton of Blake Shelton content here. Let's try the If I'm Honest album. Now I could favorite it for later, but instead I'm going to go ahead and borrow this one right now. Now once I've borrowed it, it will show up on My Hoopla as content that I currently have borrowed. But on mobile, you have another option that we should talk about. You have the option either to play it streaming, or you can download the content over Wi-Fi now so that you don't have to use your cellular data later. And once the lending period is up, it just automatically deletes from your device. Personally, I love doing this with music and movies to play on planes or for my kids to play in the car. Now each of these categories works basically the same. You can browse or search to find the content that you'd like to borrow, and then you can either save it for later, stream it, or download it to your device. Now let's go back and take a look at a few of the items that I added to my favorites list earlier. At the top of my Hoopla, you'll see a heart with a number in it, and that shows you your number of favorited items. If I click that, we can view our favorites. We can then borrow those or continue to save them for later. Finally, I want to show you how to view comic books on your iOS device. A shortcut to get back to your home screen is just to click My Hoopla twice. Here at My Hoopla, I see that I've already borrowed a Wonder Woman comic from the DC Rebirth series. If I open that up and scroll through, obviously some of this would be very hard to read. But the nice thing is, is that by double tapping on the picture, Hoopla will allow you to step through the story panel by panel. And you can do that in either portrait or landscape orientation. So that's a quick tour of Hoopla on iOS. I hope you enjoyed it.
Now go find some great content to borrow on Hoopla.